Hello folks, Kevin here again. Welcome along on my first overnight camp of 2024. So uh, today I'm back in Teo National Park and uh, I'll be using the hammock. So uh, I'm a bit excited to see how I'll get on uh, with the hammock as it's going to be minus 10. Oops, it's going to be minus 10 tonight. So uh, with a bit of luck, I'll be warm. So here we are again in Teo National Park and um, the plan today is to go from uh, the visitor centre here, pass around the southern shore of Matilde Alley, across duckboards, over a swampy area and then all the way out to this point here where there's the lean-to shelter at Teri Sari and then basically return back the same route the following day. I have some new pieces of gear to try out, namely a new sleeping bag from Thermarest. It's a Thermarest Polar Ranger. I also have some thermal underwear I'm testing out. It's basically mesh or netting uh, thermal gear. The top is from a Norwegian company called Aklima. It's made from merino wool and the leggings are from a Finnish company called Svala and uh, yeah I think they're made from some artificial synthetic fibre but uh, yeah I kind of wanted to give these a go also and see how they handle uh, overheating and basically being sweaty so uh, yeah let's see how that works out as you can see it's still quite snowy although the temperatures for the last five or so days has been around zero during the day, uh, which is a massive increase from last week when the temperatures were as low as minus 24. Um, I don't really have that much experience in super cold weather, maybe down to about minus 10, but uh, yeah, minus 24 was uh, just too much for me. So I didn't, didn't want to risk it. Uh, as I say, the temperatures though could drop too or our forecast to drop to about minus 10 tonight. So uh, let's see how we get on. So I've just found out the hard way that the snow here is quite deep. At least on two occasions now I've managed to put my foot on the snow but not actually on the duckboard underneath and the crust of the snow has given way. I've gone up to my knee in snow and it's pitched me forward face first into the into the snow. Of course with the rucksack being so high up on my back and my weight being uh, top heavy yeah it didn't help matters either. It's actually quite difficult to get off my face and out of the snow again. So um, yeah not very dignified but I just have to be quite careful how I go. Here we are in lovely Tersari lean to shelter. And the moon, full moon is rising. So I finally managed to get the fire alight. It took ages because uh, the wood that I used in twigs was too wet to take take the take the heat. So uh, yeah, funnily now it's going. Uh, ooh, everything is rather slower in the when the weather is this cold. I just checked the weather forecast and it is minus five currently. But uh, yeah, all good. There's a really nice big full moon, and uh, when I turn the lights off, everything's sort of bathed in a sort of a bluish, bluish color, bluish glow. I, for Christmas, I got myself a Trangia triangle. And uh, I've only tried it once or twice just to test it out so far. Um, and I'm going to be using it with a Trangia gas burner. So uh, I also managed to get myself a uh, Trangia micro. It's a very small pot with, uh, with a frying pan it comes with. Pasta carbonara with bacon from Noor. Looks pretty good. Okay, I'm in my hammock at last. 
and uh, I'm in my Thumarest Polar Ranger sleeping bag. Uh, it's rated for minus 20 Celsius uh, with a limit of minus 30 so hopefully I should be warm enough. As I say it's forecast for minus 10 tonight and uh, yeah this should be covering me quite well. I've also got two quilt under quilts so I have a uh, Bushman Glow minus 12 uh, next to me and then I have the uh, DD hammocks uh, under quilt outside that. I've also put a, a half inch thick foam mattress into the double layer immediately below me so that should cut out any drafts. We'll see how it goes. I realise I look quite ridiculous but I've been cold so many times on winter camps before that I've just decided that okay looks be damned I'd prefer to be warm so we'll see how things go. This uh, sleep bag as you can see has a center zip it also has side zips that you can actually get your hands out so uh, I'll zip these up in a, in a second so right hopefully I'll get some sleep tonight and we'll see you in the morning from the deep freeze so managed to sleep okay it took me a long time to actually fall asleep so I actually then slept in this morning it's now about midday and I slept really soundly from about five o'clock this morning until now managed to sleep like this which is a little bit claustrophobic and this snorkel thing around my face makes a sort of a microclimate so my nose wasn't frozen it will require a little bit of practice getting used to where the zips are and how to operate them from inside the sleeping bag. Also, how to tighten the neck baffles. It wasn't cold at all. No cold from the top and no cold from underneath. So my foam and double underquilt system seem to work at least for these temperatures. As mentioned previously, there are three zips. The large central one, which is quite easy to get in and out of. And then two zips on the side so you can get your arms out. All the zips have double baffles and uh, yeah, uh, they kept the cold out. There was no cold leaking in through the zips at all, which is really nice. On the snorkel itself, if I reach behind me, there are sort of tabs and they've got like magnets in and they lock one to the other to actually form the snorkel, which then can, can be cinched tighter with a cinch on the hood. Um, the material also from the snorkel itself is made from uh, a synthetic material so it deals with the uh, build-up of frost better. Yeah I also tried uh, zipping the steam bag up as much as I could and then just stuck my head through the actual hole that's made by the snorkel and then put a uh, this is a fleece hood that I got from Temu online the Ch Chinese online place. It's it, it's actually served quite well to keep me warm. It's quite nice. It's a lot less claustrophobic than having your head inside the thing. But um, yeah, the tip of your nose gets a bit cold. And you get a buildup of the frost on the front here. And it feels kind of a little bit wet on the inside. So that's a little bit unpleasant. But it's a good alternative. Here's another cheap purchase I made from Timo. Uh, it actually turned out to work quite well. So trying to pee in a bottle. Uh, out of a hammock was uh, too much of a hassle. So uh, one alternative was rather than messing around with slipping my boots on, which are cold, was to buy these silicon rubber sock things. And uh, yeah, they fit in over your socks quite nicely and are good for just nipping out across the snow and going for a quick pee. So I think they were like something like two euros on Temo. So uh, yeah. It's an alternative to wearing plastic bags. Um, it remains to be seen how long they will actually last. But um, yeah, at least on snow. And last night they worked quite well. These uh, have been proven to be really, really good just underneath the trousers. Uh, they trap heat very, very well. And uh, they also uh, wick moisture away from the skin really well. I didn't really go fast enough yesterday to pull up a big sweat. 
so I can't really attest just yet to how effective these are at um, uh, wicking sweat, but uh, they're definitely very warm inside the inside the sleep bag, and I didn't have any problems really with cold yesterday. These particular ones are from a company called Sfala. I'm going to put the link down in the description. I think they uh, are a Finnish company. These are made from a synthetic fiber. I think it's polypropylene. And the one I'm wearing in my upper body is from a Norwegian company called Aklima. And again, I'll put the link uh, in the description. That one is made from merino wool. It's a little bit scratchier. This polypropylene is a little bit softer, softer material. Um, much more of it is hard wearing though. But uh, yeah, so far so good. I am very pleased with these. Here's a little addition I also got from DD Hammocks. It's a gear sling. It sits underneath the hammock and I can put my rucksack in and boots and anything else I want to keep off the ground. Obviously it's quite close to the ground now because I didn't set up my hammock very high. I have to remedy that in the future. But it's good to keep my clothes, anything I want to keep dry and off the ground, uh, dry and out of the way. So when I step out of my hammock onto my black mat here, um, my, the foot space is clear. Um, this is simply just a nylon bag from DD Hammocks that has a power cord and then the string goes up and then just hooks onto that carabiner there. Okay, so that's the breakfast done. Now it's time for a tidy up and time to get out of here. So let's go. Okay, all packed up and ready to go. Love the place, leave no trace. You can see this marvellous winter wonderland and the lake is completely frozen. There has been uh, somebody driving a snowmobile on it so the ice should be quite thick and there are ski marks as well as marks of people who've been doing snowshoeing so uh, the ice should be actually good enough to hold me the water was obviously freezing last night because every now and again you could hear what sounded like gunshots going off and it was the ice expanding along the shore and presumably being squeezed up against the rocky shores and every now and again the ice would give away with a loud crack that would sound just like a gunshot especially as it echoed in the woods around but uh, it, it kept me awake for quite a long time so uh, better wear earplugs next time it's uh, approximately half past three in the afternoon and the sun is that high in the sky the day has just flown away from me it's what happens when you sleep in from seven o'clock I don't actually get out of the hammock until 12. Oh well, incredibly beautiful anyway. I'm not sure if you can see those now. But, uh, they are made by somebody wearing snowshoes. And uh, as you can see, they can actually walk quite nicely on top of the snow. There is a hard crust, but the snowshoe basically spreads out their weight so they don't push through. Whereas with me, I get that for every step which is extremely tiring so with snowshoes on you can be like, a bit like Le Legolas in Lord of the Rings you can just run across the top of the snow no problem and you won't sink in so safety back to the car oh that was an adventure so I am delighted with my new sleeping bag and also the fact that I managed to uh, have a camp in minus 10 degrees and not be cold at all. So uh, I'm very pleased with the setup. The next thing to do now of course is to see how much I can push it in colder temperatures but for now I'm very happy. Yeah. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, I certainly enjoyed making it. And uh, yeah, leave a like and leave a comment below if you liked it. And 
anything else you'd like to see from the wonderful winter landscape that we have here in southern Finland. So until the next video, this is Kevin signing off. All the best. Moi moi.